I decided to turn on the camera and show you guys a couple new products that I have to try out. So let's get started. You do the primer first. And the primer is from Too Faced. It's Primed and Peachy, a cooling matte skin perfecting primer. And this is one pump. And I'm just gonna. It doesn't smell that much of peaches. So I just put half of it on one side. I get pretty oily on my forehead, so that's where I'm going to put it. But I love having that matte look. I have, like, I would say normal to oily skin. I have a couple dry patches, like, literally only here. But, I mean, I can get away with mattifying primers. So, let's it here and I'll let you guys know because I literally this is the only part I get oily I'll let you guys know if um if it works I don't know if you guys could tell but it kind of like made my pores go away like it just helped it a bit and with this Bobbi Brown eyeliner and this is a gel liner I always use liquid but I used this for the first time like a couple days ago and oh my god guys my eyeliner came out so sharp i was like zam and even marisa was like yeah your eyeliner is very sharp today this is one liner down i'll have to clean it up with concealer just because i'm not the best at it and the brush that i use is the mac 266 i kind of feel like it's not even that thin enough for what i like but then again I just started doing, you know, with um, gel. So let me know down below if you guys use gel. What type of brush do you guys use? Because this Bobbi Brown one is the Longwear Gel Eyeliner Duo. Blank, black ink and steel ink. So it has like one side that has a little bit of glitter and the other one that's black. I personally, when I do makeup on others, I feel like gel is easier on them. I don't know why, like liquid is just like ugh. but like i've never used gel eyeliner on myself which is so weird that one looks like way chunkier so i'm just gonna clean it up with some concealer i honestly don't know how i feel about these lashes with this look like i feel like they're so dramatic I don't have a problem with dramatic, but I just keep staring at the lashes. Foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint. Last time I used this, I used a beauty blender. And then I watched Katie's video, and it said that it shouldn't be used with a beauty blender. It should be used with a brush. So I didn't read the instructions, so I'm going to give this another shot because with the Beauty Blender, it was like super splotchy and I didn't realize it was a skin tint. So I'm going to use to apply it this Real Techniques uh, tapered foundation brush and to blend it all out, I'm going to use a Morphe M444 brush. And this one I got in the color 04, so I don't know if it might be too light for me. I think it might be too light for me. It looks so white on camera. It's not that white in person. I got this one sent from Influencer. So, like, I don't know what, if I picked the right shade. I obviously didn't, but... Or the skin tint isn't bad like I can still see my skin I can still see my skin but a hundred percent it blended out way better with a brush so don't blend it out with the beauty blender I think this is perfect for every day like honestly I would wear this like every single day just because I don't have a lot of acne or um, scars or anything it's really just underneath my eyes where I need the most coverage and you can tell I didn't put anything underneath my eyes so maybe if I would have put a little bit underneath my eyes, it would have looked better. But I actually really like how it sit on my face. Under eyes look so bright, but there's also that undertone gray or ashy that I don't like. Set my under eyes. I'm using this Ofra yellow powder. 
It actually smells really good. Oh, but it's a loose powder. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, I think it kind of emphasized my dark circles even more. I use yellow powders and I can get away with it and it looks decent. But this powder, like, this one's way too dark for me. So, this Ofra powder is the Translucent Highlighting Luxury Powder. It smells really good. But it's a no-go for me. Like, you guys can't see because I have bright lights. But it, like, even clinged onto the concealer. So, I don't know if that's the concealer or if that's actually the powder. I have another loose powder, which is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. It is so cute. This one's more of a pink tone, so this one might actually help the under eye situation. I'm going to set my whole face with it, too. The peach powder set my face so nicely. It kind of did fix up my little mess of my under eyes. Um, it brightened it a little bit more so it doesn't look as yellow. So this one is definitely a hit. I'm honestly, like, I love how it left my skin. So I'm going to add the highlight. And the highlight is from Fenty Beauty. It's a little cute sample thing. It came with the lip gloss. And this one is an Hustla Baby. And it looks like this. Oh. Wow. Oh my god, that is such a pretty highlight. And that's like one coat. It is so pretty. It's like an undertone gold, but also like an undertone pink, which makes it super cute. Imagine if this is the pigment, like, alone. Imagine when it's wet. I think I might wet it afterwards. But this is already so pigmented. To bake underneath, I'm going to use half-side Ofra and half-side the peach powder. Hopefully, I don't regret it. But, let's see. I feel like this yellow powder isn't melded finely enough. Like, my Revolutions one. So... Maybe that's why I didn't blend good underneath my eyes because the Revolution is one like I don't put a lot but it still blends out really well you know and this one I just felt like it really really didn't. I'm going to go into the peach one. I feel like the peach one might not be good for this. It's very nice but I don't know if it'll be good for baking. Like I don't can you guys tell? This powder is just better for setting. There we go. Okay. I look crazy. One side yellow, one side white, whatever. So the Ofra powder worked way better for baking. My peach powder, it literally didn't do anything for baking. Like, it still did not give me, like, that perfect crisp line or anything. So overall, this definitely I will 100% use to set underneath my eyes, set my face. Like, this gives you the most flawless, perfect skin. But the Ofra one, I will not use underneath my eyes. Maybe on someone that's a little darker. Like, I just cannot get away with this underneath my eyes. You can tell right away. But for baking, oh my god, gave me that perfect, perfect line. So, I mean, they're, this one's a yes and no, but this one's definitely a yes. I did um, Whirl on my lips from MAC. And now I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss. Oh, super cute and little. This little pack came for like $18, I think. And it was a highlighter and this. Can you see that? Oh my god. And it smells good. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna need the full size of this. What? Guys, look how juicy my lips look. Oh my god. I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. 
so overall i loved all the products that i tried out the only one that i was kind of iffy about is the ofra powder but it worked good for baking so i'm still gonna use it i honestly am obsessed with the lip like i cannot stop looking at my mirror because it looks so good oh my god guys if you guys want to buy something out of the whole things that i talked about definitely buy the lip gloss and the peach powder the mattifying one actually helped me because i usually am already oily on my forehead by the time i'm done with my makeup but i'm still not oily even if i use a skin tint when you use a skin tint you tend to be a little bit more oily but that's not the case so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to comment down below what other products you guys want me to try out so i can do another first impressions video make sure you give this a like comment share and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload talk to you guys in my next video bye guys